A thousand miles north, another war continues, this one in Ukraine. One Ukrainian American who has made Overland Park his home calls both conflicts troubling to watch. Concerning it doesn't begin to describe the word because it's, it's very deeply personally involved for us. And his story is where we begin this Sunday. KSHB 41 News reporter Abby Dodge talked with him at his bakery and grocery store about his life in Ukraine and how he's sharing his homeland with the metro. Hi, hey, sir. Anything you can help to find? Vlad Polishchuk is a few weeks into what he hopes is a lifelong ode to his homeland. Oh, no, okay. The Ukrainian American moved to Kansas City almost 20 years ago. Some of his family members still live in Kiev. This store is a way to share the happiness of home, a feeling for years he had to travel to get. The closest uh, feeling of home that we get is like when you drive over to Chicago. When I was a kid, actually, I kind of kind of get burned out this way because we had so many as, as in the kid. Kid would. When you walk through the doors, I mean, hard to really describe in words. It's just like, oh, I'm kind of sort of home. Vlad is also a leader in the local Ukrainian community. He says the business has a second benefit for the people working behind the counter. Kind of offer them a first opportunity to get employed in the United States so they can start building that, you know, the, the job history, creative history, all those different things. With the start of yet another war, this time in Israel, Vlad says their small kosher section has a deeper meaning. I can personally relate to what their people are going through over there and I'm like I'm hoping that you know there's going to be some you know ends going to end as soon as possible right to the cost of war uh, it's tremendous and it takes a personal toll on everybody. Vlad says he plans to open the kitchen a few weeks from now. There will be dishes from across Europe on the menu, but a handful with some more meaning. And this is the gathering place for them to kind of like, oh yeah, how you doing? I haven't seen you in, in a couple of years and now well, let's have a conversation. In his second home of Overland Park, Abby Dodge, KSHB 41 News.